Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome in Kingdoms Reborn episode number 2. So as you can see this is our Pablo1713 town and actually I can edit the name. Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> so I can change it to Red Panda Empire. Yes, so now this is our Red Panda Empire and as you can see this is our enemies. And this guy, this guy, he's gonna be very problematic. Sven, yeah, he is Viking as well. So as you can see, he is expanding his territory very fast and we got still just one province. So maybe, maybe in this episode we're gonna expand our, uh, you know, mighty empire, Red Panda Empire right now. So I'm just, I'm gonna unpause the game. As you can see, the pottery is the next thing that we're gonna discover from our technology. So potter and clay pit. And as you see, we are building another trading post and also trading port. As remember, so I can just speed boost. So maybe this will increase the speed of building those two very important structures for our city. What more? We can check what cards we have. So, you know, mushroom farm, it uses actually wood. And wood is very important, so we're not gonna waste it. So maybe we're gonna take uh, the pig ranch, or maybe we're just gonna. Yeah, let's do this. Let's pick. So we got the pig ranch, and I was thinking that maybe I'm gonna place it here. But uh, we don't have enough space, so we're just gonna need to adjust this a little bit. With X, I am destroying the road like this. So yeah, and I'm just gonna place one more. Okay, one more. Yes. And we're just gonna place the pig ranch right in here. With Z, we got uh, Z, you know. We got the road system. We can connect everything like this. Perfect. So you know, that's gonna be another source of uh, food for our people, because right now we have only fish. From this fishery, which is right in here, this is very important building right now for us. It has 175 efficiency, so this is super cool. And as you can see, there's a small boat and he's trying to catch as many fishes as he can. Right in here, so yeah, perfect location, you know, between the river and also the deep ocean that is right in here. And our empire, of course, we got plenty of, of gold right in here. And thanks that, we can use it to increase the amount of money that we have because oh three immigrants wishes to join your city of course accept and look at this we can choose the price so decrease the upkeep by 70 percent that will be super awesome productivity 20 job happiness and productivity so yeah i'm gonna decrease the upkeep by 70 percent so now we have the card uh you can help spread across that perfect super so this means that if you're gonna go into a statistic for the buildings you see we got the upkeep and now we have fishing 20 and gold mine 30. So this means that if you're gonna go in here to the gold mine, we can equip it with this card. And thanks to that, we have to reduce upkeep to nine coins only, which means that we are just losing now six coins per every, I don't know, like minute or second, probably minute or maybe second. Look at this, we are now on positive income. This is great, super awesome. Of course, we got 19 people, which means that probably that's gonna be a good idea to build another house because, you know, we got this territory with the houses. So appeal is 100%, so that's going to be another another target. Let's increase the speed in here. As you can see, we are getting end of the winter, and we are starting the E1 late spring. So this is very good. What else we have in here? Fruit gather. I'm not going to build those buildings because fruit, we don't have any fruits right in here, as you will see. The fruits, fruit trees are right in here. Uh, I don't know if we have any uh, fertility information. Yeah, I think that, as you can see, those oranges, kind of maybe some apples in here also this is the sign of the fruit trees here we have only pine trees so there's no point to waste our money on that card so let me change it to none and let's go and continue so yeah red panda empire yeah that sounds much 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 nice we have reached the maximum five cute card hands which means that we can now choose the card that we want which is super great so what do we need actually as you can see we are short on stone so we need some stone, so this is mine stone right in here, that's perfect, and we're just gonna try to fit it somewhere. But let me, is that, yeah, I think that's gonna be a great place. Why not, why not in here? Perfect. And we can also use the speed boost right in here, so if somebody gotta get in here, he's gonna speed up the building, <laughs> but you know, I am talking right now for six minutes and, no, well, maybe less than six minutes because I speed up the video. But, you know, st we still don't have any building ready. So we're gonna have, yes, this is completed, so now we can gather the stone, which will gonna be very useful for us, you know. 
And in here, as you can see, we've got four people. I think four, that's way too many. So I'm just gonna decrease to two people, maybe. Because, you know, we need stone, but not as much. Right now, we got two only, I know. But, you know, we're gonna increase probably in time. Yeah, the building is almost completed. You know, it's gonna be the same trade post like in here. So I can pause and I can trade again. Let's double check with the food. Uh, well... Stone, medicine, I think I'm gonna just buy one more, maybe not, I'm just gonna sell everything. This will give me 500 income, so I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna make the trade. And as you can see, we now have 1200, which means that I can train the first military unit. So we're gonna train the warrior. Yes, we're gonna have the tray. ooh, and then we can raid. But we're gonna need 300 coins, so we just need to wait for another trade. We'll increase the amount of money that we have. And get some, you know, nasty job. <laughs> All right, as you can see, we got the unit, but we're still waiting for another trade. Everything seems to be under control right now. We have an additional building in here. We don't have any insulation, but we have enough wood, so it should be okay. Oh, yeah, look at this. We got completed the building right in here. Big ranch. That's perfect. We got some pigs. So now we can choose kill when we have above half capacity. Which means, you know, if you're gonna have more than seven, then they're gonna kill them and thanks to that we're gonna have source of food. That will be perfect. Job happiness, 70, and there's only one worker. And what? Kill all. Yeah, that is like the last thing that we want to kill all these pigs that we have. So yeah, oh yeah, the trade. So that will mean that we'll be able to buy the cart. So let me just double check. We got enough fishes, so there's no point to waste money on that. I'm just gonna sell all the gold ores that we have. That's perfect. And we're gonna trade the units. We're gonna take the raid. Yes. Yes. This is true. So as you can see, now we are waiting. And yes, we had the raid. That's perfect. So we're gonna make the raid. And as you can see, I'm gonna pause for a second so we can see what is the income, possible income of the raid. 649 in here. Let's double check what's going on on the other islands. I'm not sure if I'm able to raid outside of my territory. Maybe we're gonna need some boats, but... You know what, I checked all the map and everywhere is the same income, basically. So there's no point to go far, far away. I think that here is still okay, 649. I saw that there was like 650 right in here. Yes, 656. That was the maximum. So we can try to make the raid. And yes, we can, even the fact that this is outside of our territory. Maybe because we are, you know, Vikings. Maybe. Let's submit this. And as you can see, we got the raid. And I'm going to unpause. You'll see that we have the attack. We're going to attack. <laughs> as you can see, we just... Yeah. So let's check the stats. We have army attacked 14. And the enemy... I can, you know, zoom in. And closer. Militia is 8. Which means that... Yeah, we're going to win without a problem. And then we're going to need to raid also the treasure. Yeah, fine. As you can see, this is moving slowly, so we're gonna come back to the raid later on. Yes, and because we collected more than five, I'm gonna go with do not show this again, because I now know that whenever I'll collect the five cards, I can choose whatever card I want and I need, actually. So let's have a check. Hunting Stone Tool Shop. We got 16 tools left, so that's gonna be very useful building. We got also tavern, but this is gonna cost us with the upkeep. So I'm gonna go with the stone, upkeep only 10. So I think that's gonna be a good idea to do this. So, you know, we are gathering stone right in here. So maybe I'll... Yeah, I think that's it's gonna fit because, you know... Why not? No, it is not allowing me to do this. Okay, so all road system must be complete. I mean, you know, highlighted. This means that I can place the building. I can place it here, it's gonna be very close to the stone, you know, so they can collect the stone and create our stone tools for our people. And I can just collect here, make some connection, thanks to that, you know, they're gonna transfer everywhere. And in here I can make the trade, and as you can see, I am seeing that we are losing medicine. So I'm just gonna buy 10 medicine and I'm gonna, of course, sell the gold, because we are selling gold. Yes, and quest completed, created 10,000. 10, of the goods reward companies act okay and this is 
equipped in the town slot. Okay, so and you know, as you can see right now we have winter resistance. So hit plus 30 and also minus 20 population growth. Gold rush 70% plus for the productivity to the gold mines and oil rings. And rigs. And now we're gonna have companies act, which means that we have minus 2% trade fees for each trading company. Maximum minus 20%. Card price 200 coins, so I can sell the card, but probably I'm going to need some special building to do this. So right now, let's just uh, keep an eye on the amount of people that we have. 21 people, uh, so that's a lot. And you know, I was thinking about think, what's going to happen if I'm going to place the building right in here. Here we got 100% appeal. I can put a little bit further right in here, and then you know I can like. Make the storage right in here. Spend it. Because maybe they're gonna be person that are gonna live in here and they're gonna have shorter time to go to the work. Maybe. Yeah, trading port. So as you can see, we can trade again. So let's double check. Yeah, as you can see, we are losing medicine, which means that our people are getting a little bit sick. So I'm gonna trade, and with the sickness, I want to show you something because on the technologies we can have the basic medicine. But, as you will see, uh, this is just producing the medicine fruit, let's say. And to make the medicine, we need to have medicine maker. And this is really far away in the technology tree. So this means that we're going to need to build like one, two, three, four, five. Five things we need to, do, you know, develop. And then we'll be able to get a medicine maker. What more, we need to have 30 houses on the level two, which is kind of insane. And to get to the Middle Ages, we need to have two houses level 2. And to have those houses, we need to, to provide our people with some uh, luxury items. The luxury items are written here. For example, pottery. So that's why I'm uh, developing the pottery as a second thing. So from this trade to the pottery. The future issue, look at those animals. They're huge. <laughs> that's very funny. And we are running, and right now I just want to show you that I have Ultra. So the maximum possible settings, of course, I need to record it on 1920 to 1980 to have the proper aspect ratio. So, yeah, three immigrants, perfect. And we have additional book, let's pause and think about it. Productivity plus 20, 20 job happiness and 15 productivity. Awesome, less input, 30% less input, right? So, job happiness and productivity. I think that's perfect, it's like 35 in total. So let's just double check where is the bad happiness from the job. Like 50%, 50%. We've got four people right now, but the gold mine is the most important. So we're gonna go with the passion. Or maybe, no, not in here. Maybe right now with the stone. Thanks to that, we're gonna have more stone. 115 prof efficiency, and here we got 170. So, you know, it is still okay. And we are getting really close to the... Oh! 26 people are now in the city. Choose your rare card price. Productivity, decrease the upkeep. Perfect. Oh my goodness, that is perfect. I think that this is the biggest uh, upkeep cost. Fishing lodge is 20. Oh, that is surprising. Perfect. So this is super awesome. I think that this will mean that yeah, we are losing less money than before. Oh, no, this is just a small start. Fishing quest completed. Perfect. <laughs> got additional slot. I mean, there are a lot of prices like this uh, when finishing uh, the mission. So we're gonna equip this, and every one happiness above 60 gives 1% productivity for fishing lodge. Every happiness be, uh, above 60. But now we have only plus 10. As you can see, with efficiency 190, thanks to that. So if we're gonna use the card, like the, the card that is right in here, we can increase the efficiency of the fishing lodge even more. Which means that we don't have to worry about the uh, fishes, so the food for our people, for a long time. But something that I need to keep an eye is the amount of medicine that we have. Because as we see, our people are getting really sick and they need the medicine. Okay, so yeah, we got the research complete, so let's check the tree. And of course, I cannot research this because we don't have houses on the level 2. We're gonna get to this later on, and right now we can have the beer brewing, for example. That will be building beer brewery. 
make the furniture. I'm not gonna waste the wood right now. So maybe this is gonna be a good idea. Unlock the potter, yes, and unlock the clay pit. Perfect. So the clay pit needs to be close to the river. And as you'll see, if it's like in here, must be built next to the river. So this is the river right in here, so I can place it like right in here. And then the pottery maker like next to it. Like this. That'd be very short distance for them and they can you know store the items right in here we can even expand this territory maybe keep even more yeah i think that looks very nice it's gonna function very well i think i hope let me see need more tools i know that's oh yeah we got the tool makers shop right right in here so we got two people that are right in here and they are using the wood and they are getting the stone and getting us the stone tools right in here as well. Oh yeah, this is the maximum zoom that I can have. So as you can see, this is a very important building. Without the tools, the efficiency is dropping down. So you know they need to have the tools to you know, make the job done. Okay, so again, medicine, selling the and, and as you can see, I have two trade posts at the same time right now. Medicine up. So I think that the medicine is the only thing that I need to worry about right now. Maybe double speed. Yes, as you can see, this is running really fast right in here. So first we're going to have the pottery. So uh, unfortunately, we don't have the clay. So they're going to need to wait. Really ma majestic animal, right? <laughs> He's just going right over here over our city. As you can see, they don't have the input because we don't have the clay. The clay is still under construction. So just going to need to wait a little bit. Uh, they're just gonna need 30 stone. We don't have the stone, that's why we need to wait a little bit for this. But I think that... Let's just double check what's going on with the raid. It's still under. Oh man! I mean, look at this. This is getting a little bit dangerous. Maybe we're not gonna win this? I don't know. 520 left. 572... I think, yeah, he's dying, so he's gonna be able to survive, like, on the edge, you know? That's gonna be a very close battle. Battle, yes. Sometimes it's dropping, so maybe it's, he's making, like, critical hit, I don't know. Maybe it's like that. So, after another trade, I have 1,110 coins, which means I can spend it on something. I can buy some card. You know, I can spend it on the cards, but I think that I'm not gonna waste it in here. I want to buy the province. I can buy it here, 848, and this will increase the amount of money that I'm generating. And also, as you can see, this is the source of the coal, because we got the coal deposits in here. So I can make the coal mine. And in here, of course, this is my target. This will increase to the income 217. That's gonna be game-changing, uh, you know, province. So now I'm just gonna claim the province. I'm gonna do this, unlock the coal mine, and I can buy the coal mines. Done? Yeah, perfect. So, you know, I can try to place the coal mine like, uh, I don't know, if this is... It's okay, so this is, yeah, that's gonna be perfect, I think. Let's just uh, rethink the tiles. So I can move it like here. Be perfect, and I'm just gonna connect the road. Something like this, going around. And we can then connect in here, you know, here we got the connection and make an additional connection right in here. Perfect. And you know what I was thinking? I was counting here because we can make the storage uh, space right in here. Right. And then additional one right in, like here, because I think that we're not going to use it on any building anyway. Like four in here and some storage right in here. Yeah, because we're not gonna use it, there is not enough room in here anyway, so, you know, there'll be no point to have it, and if we're gonna have coal, this means that those houses are gonna be able to get the heat from the coal, as you can see, heat ink efficiency 300 from the coal, so that's gonna be a good idea, I think, still waiting for the stone, okay. Oh yeah, so as you can see, now we have unlock statistic bureau, okay, so this is kind of a huge building. Oh, I think that I'm gonna place this right in here. 
and it's gonna be built automatically so we have the statistic I mean it was already here so I don't know why we're just wasting place for additional building maybe there are some additional infos in here you see we got producing more that we are consuming the fuel is still okay Put that the fuel population is increasing yeah I think that's everything looking very good and I can even think about building additional house just to make sure you know Remember in the last episode I was counting uh, how much space we need to have in here. So right here we got the coal mine. And I think that four people is still too much. We're just going to take two. And we're just going to have the normal mining. Because what's going to change? We're going to have some probably happiness, deduction, efficiency. Yeah, so there's no point. We're just going to skip it to the normal. That's going to be okay. So that is perfect. Yes, I think that we're gonna kill this guy, finally. Let's double check what's going on in here. So it took a lot, a lot of time. But yeah, <laughs> he's dead. Yeah. So that unit, and now... Yes, we got... This is done. So we raided this small town, and we got 600 income thanks to that. So the game is paused, which means that our uh, unit is right in here again. So we can buy additional raid art, why not? And we're just gonna use it right now on something else so some other outpost maybe this one which is really close and thanks to that i will not have to you know go out 700 income oh that's perfect because you know they are earning the money all the time so i can go and oh see so yeah submit the card submit and i think he's yeah he's held 1700 but the attack is eight and we got 14. i think that's it's still okay and we're gonna win it anyway so we're gonna have 700 income in like a year from now on so that's gonna take a lot of time we're just gonna sell more gold uh, buy just one medicine here perfect and we're just waiting for those two buildings and i'll be able to make two trades again that should be okay 1500 that's perfect a lot of money we have this territory you know i can like chop the trees yes you know they're gonna regrow later on because we're not going to use this territory now, I think. Maybe in the future, once we're going to uh, use the space that we have in here. Maybe even I will extend this to have the guy that is chopping the trees right in here. Maybe. That's a good idea, actually. Yes. I was thinking about this right in here. So, if I'm going to place it right in here and place, like... I got the wild card. And, you know, I can place the forester right in here take care of this territory and cut the trees and everything yeah like this should be okay so that's gonna be for the future and if they're gonna be some person that want to live in here maybe the appeal will be okay for this guy 95 100 that's gonna be probably too far away for him to live but look at this 100 appeal right in here so i can readjust this a little bit you know with the road and i think everything will be okay not sure if this was the correct road. Let me just double check. With the house. Yeah, I think that's going to be this one. So... Yeah, it looks very good. Right? So Z, and I think that it was in here. This. And X. I can destroy this. X. This. Yes. And then build the one house. Happy house right in here. Z. So extend this road right in here perfect so that's going to be the guy that is living right in here and probably working only in here in the forester so that is the, the outpost for him and that will be very good and let's double check yeah we are winning in here and yet yeah, the time is running really fast again and i think that is super awesome of course we're just gonna wait until they're gonna build this and this is completed finally yes so we got the clay pit as you can see so now we are gener generating the clay, actually, you know, extracting the clay from the clay pit. And thanks to that, we are able to, uh, you know, we are just waiting because it's taking some time. So 84, 85. And yeah, they are back in here. So they're working once again. And yes, so we got the first batch of our clay. So now it can be put it in here, which means that we're going to have the first pottery. So they're just gonna go and take the items from here, from the storage, I think, and they're gonna be able to start. Oh, of course, we got the trade. 
Let's just double check. Let's gonna sell, I mean, buy one medicine, sell the gold. That's the way to earn the money in here. And yes, so I can do the same thing three times. So I think that's gonna be way than enough. And then we're just gonna sell all the gold. Because I think that, oh yeah, we got a problem with wood. So probably it's gonna be a good, good idea to like cut the trees. Let's cut some trees just to be safe for the future if we're gonna be on a shortage of this. What's going on with the batch of the coal? Three migrants, perfect. That's perfect. Well, let's just double check. Increase the upkeep by 70%. That's perfect, right? This is good. So let's double check what is the most costly building. Oh, so every building is just taking 10. So maybe, maybe like in the pottery, why not? Let's go to the potter and we're just gonna use this book. Thanks that we are decreasing the amount of money that we are wasting on it. If I'm gonna find any different building, here we got the maximum output. I'm gonna decrease the amount of people to two right now. I think that we are you know, generating more that we are even able to handle on our uh, properties where we are just storing all the stuff. So yeah, that would be a good idea. Let's cut all the trees and we have to unlock the additional tree. So this is upgrades tree, which is super awesome. Come on. So we got two technology trees. Wow. Okay. Okay. This is very nice. Very interesting. As you can see, we got the archer and swordsman and other stuff in here. Musket, machine gun, infantry, artillery and tank units, battleships. Okay. This is super awesome. That's great. Yeah, cabbage seeds, farming technologies, and other stuff. I'm gonna go with the archer. We need to, you know, increase the speed of the tray of the rates. Thanks to that, and we can make the brewery. Yes, let's buy it. But we need to have wheat. And let's just double check. Uh, that was in this technology tree, all right? Yeah. So right now there's no point to have this. Because we will, be, uh, we will be unable to produce this. So yeah, we're gonna keep this for the future. For sure we're gonna discover the archer. It's gonna take some time. It was like 23 minutes. So probably in the next episode, for sure I'm gonna make an additional one. Because it is getting really, really interesting. And I want to unlock this province to check if this is gonna be like the game changer. And I will have only the income after that. We're gonna see. As you can see, I am also... Constantly checking the situation with the wood, with the medicine, and the food. If it's okay above like uh, 70, then I don't need to worry. Well done, first house level 2. <laughs> That's perfect on the end of the episode. So yeah, this is house number, I mean level 2. Which means, let's double check what's the difference. More income, as you can see, more science generated. 5 and 3. And of course, different look, as you can see, much more modern. And also more heating efficiency. From the materials yes that's perfect and they were able to upgrade because they had the luxury item so the first pottery, pottery was made in our potter house so maybe maybe that would be a good idea when I once I'm gonna have this building done that yeah and we have the house right in here <laughs> super awesome nice very cute only two people are uh, living right in here for sure we're gonna have more later on and uh, what I was thinking that maybe that would be a good idea to have the furniture, the, you know, the tool, furniture, what was the name? Furniture, yeah, just the furniture workshop. So thanks to that, we're going to have additional luxury item for our buildings, which means that we have more buildings to upgrade because our goal right now is to have the mat maker because we are spending a lot of mo uh, money on the medicines. So, you know, that's going to take us a lot, lot, lot of time. I mean medicine maker right in here right because we're gonna need 30 houses on the level two we now have only one so that's a lot of buildings a lot of houses to have in the future all right so i'm gonna pause and we're gonna finish right in here so boys and girls thanks a lot for watching i hope that you had some fun with me and i hope that we're gonna meet each other next time so boys and girls have a wonderful day and if you're watching this at night then good night <laughs> see you next time